Hey friends, I'm Brecky, the Working Writer Mom, and this is a channel dedicated to balancing your career, your creativity, and your kids. And today I'm coming at you with a book haul. It's been a while since I've done a book haul, but I'm getting ready to do a couple of book hauls. <laughs> one today, and then one when I get a massive book outlet order in the future. Today's book haul is a book haul for those of you who find yourself in the Christian family tree. It's a Christian book haul. If you're not, that's fine. This might not be the video for you, though you might be curious about what I think. Uh, but this is for Christians who are looking for some inspirational reading, some interesting reading, some devotional reading, and want it to come from a more progressive background. That's me. So here are some recommendations of books that I've just picked up recently in the last couple of months and that I haven't been able to do in a haul. So I'm including them all for you here. The first one is Jesus Feminist by Sarah Basie. I'm actually listening to this on audiobook because it is free on Scribd right now. So if you have a Scribd account, you can totally check this out. I'm enjoying it. It is about her background in a evangelical, semi-Pentecostal community and realizing that she didn't fit into the narrow definitions of biblical womanhood and her exploration of the ways in which women are affirmed by the church. So far I'm enjoying it. It's not my favorite book on Christian feminism, but it's still a good one and I would recommend it. So this is one I got a couple of months ago and I'm now listening to on audio. Then I got God in the Pandemic by N.T. Wright. N.T. Wright is a scholar and very famous public theologian. This is a very short, like 75 page little book for reflection. I haven't read it yet, but I'm thinking of using this with my college students. I'm a college chaplain, for those of you who don't know. And I'm just really curious about his thoughts and reflections and how I can incorporate them into my personal life, but also my professional life and how he is wrestling with the issue of the global pandemic that we're all living through. The third book I got in my haul is Native, Identity, Belonging, and Rediscovering God by Caitlin Curtis. And first, I just want you guys to look at this beautiful cover. I mean, isn't that gorgeous? I just love this cover. I actually picked up her first book as well, but it's on my nightstand, so I don't have it. Um, but this is her memoir and reflections on being Native American and a Christian and balancing those ideas because Christian is a dominant hegemonic community in the United States and often isn't about the liberating love of Jesus. It is about power and control. And as a native person, she has been on the receiving end of the worst forms of Christianity. Curtis is a member of the pa Potawatomi Nation and is someone who has been writing at the intersection of race, particularly indigenous race, indigenous traditions, and Christianity for several years. And so I'm really excited to read this. Like I said, I have her first book that I picked up. I think it's called Glory Happens. And I've just read through the first couple of chapters and I'm really enjoying it. She's a poet as well. And that rich language is, is really reflective in her first book. And I'm excited to see where it will be reflective in this one. My fourth book is The Family Bible Devotional Stories from the Bible to Help Kids and Parents Engage and Love Scripture by Sarah Wells. This one is one that I was looking for. I've been looking for devotionals that could work with my kids as we're doing remote school, so school at home, and incorporating a little bit more Christian education into their day-to-day -day routine or on Sundays since we are doing church online. Um, I'm also curious as to how these would translate with my students. So college students are developmentally a lot farther along than this particular devotional, but I have already found several of the questions and the way that she She's engaging with scripture, I can easily scale up for my college students. So I'm thinking of incorporating this into some of the work that I do with them. And I don't know, I'm just really excited to see what's out there. It's really hard to find devotionals that aren't super conservative, <laughs> that have theologies that I feel comfortable with um, as someone who reads scripture regularly and can read it in Hebrew and Greek. So uh, things that aren't too scholarly, but are soul nourishing, if that makes sense. So I am hopeful that this will help meet that need. The fifth book I picked up is When Kids Ask Hard Questions, Faithful Responses for Tough Topics. Now this is edited by Bromley McClanahan and Karen Ware Jackson. Now I don't know Bromley or Karen, but I do have several friends who wrote some of the chapters in this book. Um, and so I am excited to dip into this. Again, this is one that I could use at home, but also with my college students, because some of the reflections in here, particularly on disability, on divorce, on human sexuality, are, I would say, very useful <laughs> to a college chaplain. So I'm excited about this. It's from Chalice Press. And yeah, I just, all of this is really good, really readable, and 
I think will be really edifying to me. And if you're someone who is of the Christian persuasion and you're looking for ways to talk with your kids or talk with your community about hard topics, this would be a very good one to have on your shelf as a reference and as something to lean into when you're having those really difficult and challenging conversations. I also picked up Liberating Love, a daily devotional from Sandhya Rani Jha, and I am already in love with this. It is a daily a devotional and the the whole concept is that you read a piece of scripture and then you have a little reflection that's written as though God is writing you a love note. And it's just, uh, it's already refreshing and so sweet and just what I needed and what I was looking for in the devotional. I'm hopeful that there might be some uh, discussion questions that could come with this, like a companion discussion guide that she might be releasing through her website. Um, but this is just really sweet. It's something that I'm considering getting for my college students. It's something I'm glad I have for myself. And it's something I look forward to reading regularly. I'm not always great about doing things every single day, but as often as I can, I definitely plan on di dipping into this one. The final one I'm going to mention today Today is Where Goodness Still Grows, Reclaiming Virtue in an Age of Hypocrisy by Amy Peterson. This is a brief little book on different virtues like kindness, hospitality, discernment, and love, and her experiences as someone coming out of a very traditional evangelical, very conservative evangelical background and into a more progressive, more open faith. And this is one I'm considering using with a women's study and is one, I mean, really right now in an age where the church is just so... You know, when most people think of Christians, they don't think of love, they think of judgment, and that's that's been confirmed with unbiased research. This is something I'm hoping can help feed the conversation on how the church can embrace these virtues even in the midst of the, our own hypocrisy as Christians and helping us to see where we need to do the work as Christians because we love Jesus and because we want to be more like Jesus and not cynical and self-serving like the world. So I am excited to dip into this and to maybe share this with my college students. So there you have it, friends. This is seven books I got in a recent haul. These are all in the Christian tradition and they are all inspirational, informational, and I'm hoping will help feed my soul and my spirit in this challenging, soul-draining time. Comment down below and let me know if you have any books that you would recommend, anything that I should add to this list that will help nourish my spirit in the midst of a challenging time. Also, let me know if you've read any of these. I'd be curious your thoughts and what you loved about them and what I should look forward to as I dive into this stack of new inspirational reading books. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel and join me on this journey together. I hope you're all doing really well and I will see you soon. Bye.